Hey folks, Trust 75 in here, and today we're scraping the binding on Unbelievable's Telecaster. And I'm going to show you how I go about doing it, and hopefully give you some tips and tricks on how to make your binding scraping more successful. Alright, so the first thing I like to do is I like to use one of these longer razor blades from uh, my X-Acto knife here. And it figure it gives me just more stability. And so I'll put it at the top here, two hands on it at all times. Again, I'm looking for stability. I want control. I don't want to mess this up, especially since I'm already on a fabric finish that's got some base poly on it. And so I can afford small little scratches in it, but anything more than that, then I've got to go back and do some extra work. And so you don't want to create more work for yourself is the idea. All right, so what we're going to do is I like to take... The, the razor blade with this angle here where it's coming away from the body. So that minimizes the gouge out that you might have if you were using it this way on your fabric. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I want to keep this blade level because I don't want to angle the binding at all coming out to the end. But I, and so and then I'm going to tip the razor blade back towards me. And I, I found that that's just more comfortable for me and that it just makes things easier. And then I'm going to go slowly. I like to go slowly so that um, you don't burn, you don't go through too fast and uh, make any mistakes. You don't, if you go too fast, you're going to go ahead and cut some weird angles and you don't want to do that. So again, you know, the important things is keep your razor blade level. And then the other thing is do small sections because what we're trying to get to is a place where the binding is flush with the body. And so by doing small sections, you don't get too much in a hurry. You're less likely to make mistakes. And if you do make a mistake, it's on a smaller area and it's easier to correct. And you can see this process makes a whole bunch of a mess. And so that's just to take your time with it. And you can see the big difference where, where I had taken the blade and I had been going straighter right and um but when i angled it back it just rides a whole bunch smoother and i feel like i have more control and you're just going to take your time and what you want to do is you want to feel that edge if you feel a lip it just means you need to keep going but like here where i've been working already before I have it, it's nice and smooth, and this is actually flush with the body. I can't feel any lip. And so you don't want, uh, so when you spray your poly on it, when you when you spray your clear on it, you want that to be a nice and smooth transition. You don't want to be able to feel that at all. And so we'll just take our time and we get there. I'd like to take this time to go ahead and to thank all the members of the channel and those that have subscribed if you're enjoying the content here and you're liking what i do uh you know go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss anything and um if you're interested in doing this kind of work yourself i have links to some of the different things i use for uh amazon that will um help you find some of those things and I'm also proud to, really, uh, to announce that we've gone ahead and we launched our Teespring store. And so we have two designs of shirt in there. One is roughly like this one. And another one is uh, with a guitar recovering in the hospital after being fabric topped. And uh, so we have two t-shirts, we have two coffee mugs, and uh, some stickers. So feel free to check those out. Those are all in the description of the video. All right, so let's keep looking at our progress again. If you get, in a, when I, you, if I find that I can tell when I'm really getting in a hurry because my blade starts to straighten up a little bit. And 
and I, I'm starting to pull longer sections. Because what I really want to do is finish a section, then move on. So that's getting really close. Um, and I tend to move, only go in one direction. You can go back and forth like that, but I find that causes me to speed up and I'm not as careful. And again, with all the stuff that we've been doing in this whole series, it's all about being careful and taking your time because when you're in a hurry, you make mistakes. And mistakes set you back and they make everything take so much longer. And when you get tired, if you get frustrated, or you feel like you're getting in too much of a hurry, that's the time when you might want to know, uh, might want to realize this is a good time to walk away for a little bit, do something else, kind of recalibrate, and that'll save you a lot. And this is going to make a big mess. And you see, I've got all this right here. And I've only done this little section. And we have to go all the way around. And then we have to do our sides. My advice is wait till you finish to clean up. Big pro tip here. Normally when I do this process, I usually have the guitar. I'm in a chair and the guitar is between my legs. And I use them so that way I can get close to work and I can see it. Um, a better option really is to use a vise, but I'm not having, I don't have one. And so for the filming, I've kind of created one with my two toolboxes here. And uh, so again, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that this fab, this transition from the fabric to the binding is nice and uh, nice and smooth, so you don't feel a lip. Now already, because of the way I've routed it, it's really close, and so we won't have to take off as much here. And so, again, the same principles apply. We go slow, and on this we can do both sides at the same time. Small sections. And the big thing is to go ahead in the feel as we go. You got to resist that urge to go ahead and do it. And you can do both sides like that and you get them level at the, at the same level. Um, and, and you want to watch your fabric really close because once when you get close you're going to start to see little scrape lines in your fabric and as long as you don't make those too deep that's okay because again we're going to be spraying that with clear but we don't want to ruin the fabric itself and so here in this section you can see that we're already riding really close so there's only very little that you've got to, that we have to take off on the side because i didn't make them too proud by having um by the way that I routed it. And so you want to feel along the way. So I've got a little lip here, but I don't have one there. So now, again, I, now I'm just going to work this side. back and feel for my lip okay so I don't have a lip here but I do have a lip starting there so now I'm just gonna work that and then remember keep going back and checking it and remember it's just take your time and when you're not feeling it walk away come back to it later so you can see there that wasn't that much to sit there and do on that section. But it is going to take you time to go around and to do it everywhere. Okay. 
That's it. All right, folks, here we have it. Our binding is all scraped. The body is ready to receive its clear. And that's going to be our next episode. I want to go ahead and thank everyone for their continued support in all these projects. And as always, enjoy your guitar journey. And thank you for being part of mine.